Hi, my name is Corey Simmons with Tuts Plus, and today I'm going to show you how to do an effect found throughout modern websites where a logo or navigation block will seemingly change colors depending on the background it's on. There are a plethora of techniques for doing this, like this Tuts Plus tutorial by Kez Bracey. But today we'll focus on writing a little bit of JavaScript to help accomplish this, as I feel it's a very flexible solution that allows for an infinite number of different backgrounds to be scrolled upon. The way this effect is going to work is we're going to have a default logo and then a bunch of movable logos for each section below it. We'll make our default logo position fixed, so it's always being pushed down the page, and we'll make all the movable logos position absolute so we can reposition them without worrying about other elements getting in the way. We'll calculate the difference between the default logo's top position relative to the page and all the movable logos' positions relative to the page. I know this might seem a bit confusing at first, but once we get it working, I think you'll have a better understanding of what's going on. The final result will be a reusable component you can toss into almost any site for a nice effect. So let's get started. First we'll need a couple contrasting images to work with, which are provided for download below so you can follow along. We have a light Acme logo and a dark Acme logo. Now let's make two sections, one with a dark background and one with a light background. Let's give them a min height of around 300 pixels, and so we can actually scroll, let's set our HTML selector's height to something really big like 2000 pixels. We're going to assign a class of default to our first logo and a class of movable to our second logo. And remember, we're setting our default logo to position fixed and our movable logos to position absolute in our CSS. Now let's add some more CSS to our sections to make sure that if a logo is outside of the section, it's hidden with overflow hidden. And that all our logos are positioned according to their containers with position relative. Okay, all of our markup and CSS is in place, and if we scroll, as you'd expect, nothing fancy happens. So let's add some fancy JavaScript to really make this effect come alive. First, we're going to import jQuery so we can make use of some of its functions like scrolling, iteration, and setting CSS easily. Now we'll create a function called setLogo because we want this to fire every time a user scrolls, but also the second the page loads. This function will position our movable logos relative to the default logo. Now let's say for each movable logo, we want to take it and change its CSS top property to however far the default logo is from the top, minus however far this movable logo's container is from the top. Now let's toss that in a scroll function, and remember to fire that function off the second the page is ready. Refresh our page, and voila! Now let's make a bunch of alternating containers to see what this effect would look like on an actual page with varying backgrounds throughout it. Just make sure that you only have one default logo at the top, and the rest are movable logos. We can even change the color of our logo and backgrounds wherever we want, and it'll still work. So in conclusion, this is a pretty flexible solution to change logos, navbars, or whatever you might want to change depending on the background colors throughout your page. I hope you learned a lot, and if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Thanks.